IU for training is a great place to be. We have three level one trauma centers, all within about a mile and a half radius. If we take two fellows per year, it's a one year fellowship. Anything that they wanna do within the world of emergency medical services or pre-hospital care, we have that available to our fellows. There is no other place in the country that you at least get the breadth of experiences when you compare it to IU. And that's because we are the only show in town. Something's happening in Indianapolis and it pertains to public safety and emergency medical services we're gonna be involved in in some way, shape, or form. There are large events that come through Indianapolis, such as the Indianapolis 500, upcoming NBA All-Star Game, the NCAA National Championship for football and basketball and everything in between. Our fellows are involved in the medical planning and response to those activities and those events. We work um, with Indianapolis CMS and also with Indianapolis Fire Department, um, Indianapolis Metro Police Department, and a number of other agencies, uh, including critical care transport with IU Health Lifeline, a few suburban and rural fire departments as well. We do street response, we're operational, meaning our fellows and our faculty, we went out on the streets uh, involved in 911 calls. These fellows are given a response vehicle and been expected to provide care outside of the hospital a certain number of hours per month. There are a fair number of programs that have uh, vehicles assigned to their fellows, but I think we're one of the few programs that is completely supported by our agency and that our fellows are assigned a vehicle for the year. This is a take-home vehicle. Indianapolis EMS, Indianapolis Fire Department, they recognize the importance that we put on our training our fellows and they welcome that and they support it by providing vehicles. But we may hopefully be able to catch something. And there's a car that runs across the dashboard that ties side to side. So. EMS day, it's a chance to, to see what's involved in heavy auto extrication. And they need to be aware of what goes into an auto extrication. We want the fellows to, to see and participate in that. So we actually receive a lecture from one of our extrication teams and one of our local fire departments and then fellows put on the gear and, and they start to go to work and to see what it's like to use the jaws of life to cut a door open, to take a roof off and how long that may take and what happens to the, the patient compartment when all that's going on. It allows our residents and people that work in the emergency department to understand what our first responders do in order to get our patients to us in the emergency department. I mean, this is what the whole point of our program is. It's to show that we doctors don't work in isolation, that we work with the fire service, EMS, our nurses, the respiratory techs. Like, it's all about a, a healthcare team. And this, is, this shows from start to finish what it's gonna look like. Additionally, this is, I think, an actually great uh, bonding exercise because we got to do all of those fun activities with the intern class. It's a fun day, but it also gives our EMS fellows and our emergency medicine residents and our PEDS emergency medicine fellows the understanding of what these firefighters uh, need to do to deliver a patient to the hospital. We have a disaster medicine fellowship here at IU and um, basically it trains fellows to be disaster medicine experts and disaster medicine is a very broad field and incorporates uh, many different arenas. Disaster medicine can be anything from working at a mass gathering um, or dealing with a surge of patients or dealing with a shortage of staff, stuff, or space for whatever reason. And so disaster medicine can incorporate a variety of different things. Here at IU, we have so many different opportunities for you to become a disaster medicine specialist and you can choose your area of expertise. So we, in one year, expect you to be an expert in the basics of disaster medicine and then choose an area of specialty that you become um, an expert in and, and choose your area of focus for your career. The Disaster Medicine Fellow has the opportunity here at IU to be a medical advisor or clinical leader in a bunch of different organizations. The Red Cross of Indiana is one of them. We sit on different committees when they are dealing with different disaster scenarios and want um, that medical perspective. There are also a couple different public health projects that they invite the fellows to be involved in. One of the hallmarks of the Disaster Medicine Fellowship Program, but really the entire Department of Emergency Medicine at IU is the collegial family feeling that pervades everything we do. This is an organization that understands the supports that residents, fellows, and faculty need to be successful. Our goal is to create fellows that are productive scholars, thought leaders in their fields. Uh, from stem to stern, our team gets it done. Uh, this is a GSD sort of place, where it gets stuff done sort of place. 
District 5 Healthcare Coalition brings um, several different organizations to the table to handle emergency preparedness in a multidisciplinary way, and we act as the clinical advisor for that organization also. For disaster medicine, um, within those first few months, we do have you start focusing on a research interest, and then we take that through the whole year, hoping that you'll have either a poster presentation or um, a publishable product by the end of the year. Disaster Day is a day that we train the residents to do disaster trainings. We have a training facility in southern Indiana and essentially run them through different scenarios and curriculum to get them used to triaging and treating patients that would be involved in a uh, mass casualty event. Disasters, unfortunately, are becoming more common. This is an incredibly important skill for EMS fellows to have. I thought working through um, the different types of triage uh, was incredibly fun. Um, we worked at a simulated bus station as well as uh, in the only subway station in Indiana. Assessing simulated patients and triaging them um, and getting a feel of how it would be in real life was incredibly valuable. We got to practice how to start an IVs, how to place an IOs for people who don't typically get to do that. Um, it went as advanced as being the one of the two providers at the site of mass casualty incident where you have more than 30 victims and you have to rapidly triage them and uh, provide care as necessary. We're running them through this facility, actually acting out different scenarios. Um, we basically act out a mass casualty incident where we're going through and, and having the residents triage patients, teaching them about reverse triage, having them plan out within a couple minutes um, what they're going to do when a mass number of patients come in from a, from a mass casualty incident. This is a new decon tent that we got for Riley Hospital for Children. Um, and this is exciting because for multiple reasons. One, because it can go up so quickly and in these incidents um, you, you really need something that's going to go up quickly and easily and to be able to handle large numbers of children that need decontamination. The other thing that this is uh, that makes this special is that it is very unique and for children. So we have different areas so we can incorporate um, parents and children together. Um, we can keep families together, which is really important in these decon situations. Why I chose to come here was because of the people that surround and support this fellowship. Um, and so I think that's the, the main draw here. And I think if you came here and met this group um, and worked with this group, you would feel the same way too. But we're just, it's a fun group of people. Um, we work hard, but have a good time, and, and it's, it's just, a, it's, it makes it enjoyable. We have a fellow currently who is also not only doing her EMS fellowship, but is also doing a fellowship in motorsports. And this is additional time and an area of concentration that this fellow has decided to pursue during their year here at IU. Um, and we have that unique ability because of our close ties with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the Indianapolis Racing League. The program is a, a motorsports medicine fellowship program. It's a one-year fellowship program for emergency medicine residency graduates which trains them in a subspecialty of motorsports medicine. One of my biggest interests is EMS and the other one is motorsport medicine. I use one of the only places in the country that can offer me a motorsport medicine fellowship. It is a unique program. As far as I know, it's the only one-year uh, motorsports medicine fellowship uh, in the world. We recognize uh, the need for uh, folks that do what we do. There's a number of motorsports physicians around the world because there are a lot of issues in motorsports medicine that are very different from the general practice of emergency medicine. We see and treat drivers who are involved in ultra high speed crashes. We see drivers here routinely that hit the wall at 220 miles an hour and end up walking away. But what's unique about this is if you have even a little interest in motorsports or mass gathering, you don't have to do an additional fellowship per se. Within the IU School of Medicine EMS Fellowship, you can take advantage of the opportunities that are happening at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Where is the best place to learn about motorsport medicine than 
home of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The Indy 500 is the biggest single day, single venue sporting event in the world. We have uh, an infield uh, care center here and 15 first aid stations around the property. There's a number of different events that occur here, so we can expose our fellows not only to, to the IndyCar series, but also to NASCAR racing, to IMSA racing, to karting, to quarter midgets, to dirt bike racing, and motorcycle racing. As a physician working at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you actually have very many responsibilities and there are different shoes that you have to wear, um, which I get to learn from our medical director there at this time, Dr. Jeff Bellows. I actually do work a lot uh, on the track this year and provide medical care directly on the track um, at the immediate crash site uh, if that's to occur. However, I also provide care in the medical center. The infield care center there is an amazing it's a field hospital within the Indianapolis 500 with nursing staff, respiratory therapists, even x-ray and ultrasound capability within this facility. I urge you to find the fellowship that meets all of the needs for you personally, whether it's hands-on, boots on the ground like we are, the place where you have your own personal vehicle so you can stay out on the street and work with the EMS crews and see exactly how things are done place where you have a co-fellow with whom you can brainstorm ideas and come up with uh, great solutions and uh, tag team the projects, a uh, place that will support you whichever way you want to go, this is the kind of place that IU EMS Fellowship is. If you come up with a list with what you're looking for out of an EMS Fellowship, IU really checks all the boxes. We have a great family relationship with our faculty here um, and friendship with our faculty. Uh, we work well with everyone else in the department. Um, we get both community and academic emergency medicine experience. Um, from a fellowship specific standpoint, having a fellow response vehicle, um, being engaged with all of our um, pre-hospital professionals, um, and the abundant opportunities uh, afforded to you, like I said, really sort of check all the boxes. I would challenge you as you as you're looking at all the programs that you've applied to. You know, they're all all across the country, and I would I would write on a piece of paper the opportunities that each program has made available to you. And I can pretty much guarantee you, when you look at your list, the number of opportunities here at IU will exceed the vast majority of the other programs that you're looking at. You'd be hard pressed to find a program that gives you such a breadth of opportunity, such a list of not only core faculty members, but also adjunct faculty who have just years and years of experience and are committed to teaching our fellows. You will not be disappointed coming to IU. Our emergency medicine department is one of the oldest in the country. We train great residents, we train great fellows, and I think the education that we can provide EMS fellows is truly second to none.